Okay, so I've just cracked the code on how to animate 2D characters like Iman Gazi in just 3 easy steps on Premiere Pro. Be sure to watch till the very end. Now for step 1 we have the background. First thing you need to do is create a rectangle that stretches over the borders of the display and then scale up. Then on the fill settings we would create a black to greyish gradient. Next we can create a color mat and drag it over the top of our rectangle graphic. Then on the effects panel go to settings and drag and drop the grid effect. Then we can adjust our opacity and the grid dimensions as wanted. As an extra we can also drag and drop the crop effect in order to feather the edges. That's step 1 done, now we can move on to step 2. To find your 2D character you can go to any online illustration website such as Freepik. Go to Freepik and find your character but make sure it has an Adobe Illustrator file or a Photoshop PSD format when you download it. Now that we have our character we then need to go to a website called PhotoP which allows us to work with Adobe Illustrator formats and then export the file as a PSD which will allow us to work on Photoshop and if you don't have Photoshop then you can continue the rest of the steps on PhotoP. Now on Photoshop on a 1920 by 1080 resolution project we can open the PSD format of our character then we need to get rid of any extra objects that we don't need by highlighting and deleting till we have singled out our character. We will then need to identify all the layers we will want to animate such as the hands, arms and legs in this case. Now we can shift click to select each part that we would like to animate and then command G to group all the parts into a separate folder. Then we can move this folder up and repeat this process for all the other parts we would like to animate. Now that your Photoshop layers look like this, we can then individually export as a PNG each layer of the character that we have just divided. Once we have all layers in PNG format, now finally we can move on to the fun part which is on Premiere Pro. Just as a side note, a like, sub and comment would be greatly appreciated as it helps the algorithm put this video out so that I can continue making content like this for free. Now that we're back in Premiere Pro, on the same project, we can drag and drop the PNG layers we have made and layer them accordingly to how they were before. Now we can change the positioning and the scale of the character. Be sure to nest all the parts into one sequence before we continue. In the background I've also added the tint effect to my nested sequence so that my character has the black and white look. Now once we're in our nested sequence, and to animate one of the layers we can drag and drop the transform effect from the effects panel. Then we can create both a position and a rotation keyframe. But before we start adding in movement, we need to move the center anchor point to the joint of the limb. The point in which you place this anchor will be where the movement will generate from. Then we can adjust the position and rotation keyframes accordingly. Since we aren't using After Effects, we need to more carefully play around with the position of the animations to make sure that they don't look janky. Then add ease in and ease out to the animation keyframes. Go down to the bottom and turn off this setting and then flick this tab all the way to 360. And there you go, you have your first smooth animation movement. Then we can rinse and repeat this process till the other parts you had wanted to animate come to life as well. Now, 
how we fill up the rest of your space is down to your creativity and freedom. Here's what I came up with. Now, if you want to add the wavy slash lag effect that we see in Iman Gadzi's videos, I've made a separate video on how to achieve that effect. Do all the steps in that video and also create two adjustment layers. On the first one, add the noise effect from the effects panel and change the noise to 20. Also make sure to uncheck use color. Then on the second adjustment layer, add the VR glow effect and play with the luma and brightness till you have achieved the glow desired. Then turn the opacity of the glow layer down to 60. And there you have it. You have now finally animated a 2D character in Premiere Pro. Thanks so much for watching.